Hey, what up, what up? It's your boy Aki checking in here with another video. I know you guys are probably like, yo, what in the hell? Uploading two times in a week? I know, pretty crazy, right? But I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on something that happened to me this week and something that you guys really need to be paying attention to in your market. Something this year I'm making a point to do, and that is network. Um, yesterday I had the biggest player in the whole uh, Roanoke Valley hit my phone um, and it wasn't really intentional it wasn't like he was like yo let me go ahead and call you know let me go ahead and call Ack and see what's going on with that but what he actually did was is I was doing a little bit of testing towards the middle of last year and what I was doing was I was doing marketing through Valpac and um, it's not necessarily direct mail but it's this type of advertisement where you can actually uh, pay some money and where your mail piece is uh, made as a coupon and you can put anything you want to on that coupon and it goes out to essentially everybody within your state so for me personally for me it wasn't very productive I did have um, quite a few leads that came through it but the leads that I got was not necessarily uh, motivated and they were not uh, in the best areas like for instance uh, we actually live in Virginia. I'm not sure if you guys are from Virginia, but um, in my part of Virginia, it's quite hilly. Um, some parts of it is very country, very rural, 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 if I said that correctly. And other parts of it is uh, just just places where not necessarily is uh, investor friendly, I guess you could say. And what happened with... Uh, the phone call let me just get back on track what happened with the phone call was essentially he was just calling and seeing you know who it was and i say all that to say this this guy's making uh millions and millions of dollars a year i'm guessing um just from the amount of mail that goes out you know from my understanding uh a couple years ago i heard that this guy put out literally 1.2 or 1.3 million pieces of mail in a year um, and that type of return, even if you, you know, if, you know, multiply that by say it was 30 cents a card and then the return on your investment, you know, minimum, you know, $1 million business, you know, minimum, um, over the course of time, you know, um, and so I say all that to say if the biggest player in your market is reaching out to different pieces of marketing and this piece of marketing, mind you, like I said, it wasn't very good. It was in, you know, the lowliest of places, a weird ass place, you know, um, what my intention was with the Val Pack was that, you know, people that are going through that type of mail, you know, it's obviously like discounts towards, you know, different restaurants and um, deals for food and things like that. My uh, thought process was the type of person that would take, uh, you know, time to go through coupons, right, could have some sort of uh, reason to sell uh, excessive piece of property or, or troublesome property if they had it. And so, um, I know even I use coupons myself, but I was just in my head, I was like, this is a great opportunity to get a bunch of pieces of marketing out into the market. And just by sheer numbers, I thought maybe somebody, you know, in that situation that is looking through um, discount pieces of uh, coupons, maybe they have a discount property. So I don't know how I put that together, but I guess you guys see my point. And I've seen other people um, in other markets do the Valpac. I've never heard of anybody having great success with Valpac, but shout out Valpac. I did get a couple leads. Um, and one of my leads is still, uh, they didn't say they didn't want to sell. They didn't say they, they did say they want to sell, but they're not necessarily in a rush to sell. And so I say all that to say, um, get out there in your market talk with the big players you know i talked with him for a little bit um he was asking essentially just qualify me you know seeing what who it was and um what was my business model and things like that and then he said hey this is blank 
And I said, oh, is this blank from blank? And he was like, yeah, this is, you know, you know this is me. Um, I'm just checking to see, you know, what, what, what you guys are doing over there. I was like, yeah, I mean, pretty much the same thing you were doing, you know, flips, wholesale, things like that. And uh, it was real cordial, um, real quick, because I was actually at the gym when he was calling me. So, you know, why, look at that, why that guy was uh, making calls, you know. But that also shows, you know, I'm always on, I'm ready. You know, I was ready to, um, you know, help a seller out if, if that was a situation at hand. So, um you know, um, if you don't, if you're not hitting up people in your market, um, now's a good time, you know, during the beginning of the year to actually start, you know, your own meetup group, you know, go on Facebook, create a Facebook group, uh, answer questions for people, provide value. Um, if you haven't done your first deal yet, you know, let people know that you're in the area that you would like to, you know, get a group together for people to meet up, you know, maybe at Panera Bread. Um, and actually I had someone else do that last week, you know, look at me, I've been in the market for two and a half years and I didn't even think to get people around my age to start up a group but you know someone else did we met up last week it was real productive people that aren't necessarily doing deals right now but in the future these people could be you know big time players and it's good to know people before they're that 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 person and before you're that person rather um it's real good to just get out there in the market you know see what other people are doing not not, not everybody's doing uh wholesale you might think that wholesale is like this big thing because you see it all over, um, you know, YouTube, Instagram and all that. People are selling courses, this, that and the other. But I mean, real talk, like wholesale is a it's a cash flow business. It's a business that you can get your first deal, your second deal, you know, within a short period of time. But, you know, to get traction, ultimately, you do have to invest money. You do have to put in effort. You do have to put in some type of equity, whether that be cash equity or whether whether that be, um, you know, sweat equity. And so um, getting out there with people in your market is going to keep you encouraged. It's going to keep you motivated. It's going to keep you in a state to where you can continually uh, build, uh, build a network where you're not necessarily ever alone and not saying I'm being alone is a bad thing, but you know, actually having tangible proof. I think that's the most valuable thing is that tangible proof that people are out there doing deals, not necessarily wholesale deals, but you might have a situation where somebody's constantly buying rentals and buying and holding. You might have a situation where somebody's actually doing lease options or options, or you can actually have those people in your group be your buyers. You know, so if you haven't started up a group and you're newer to the wholesale game, I think that's the most valuable thing you can do um, right now in your business. Um, if you're starting off new, it's January, you know, halfway through the month, you know, people have already started falling off of, the, of their, uh, you know, their New Year's goals. You know, they're not on track to where they need to go. And if you're not on track, it's all good. It's still in January. Uh, go ahead and start picking it up, you know, pick it up, you know. If you're, uh, and I'm gonna give you a little action item right here. Something I do literally every day is I write down my goal, my end goal for the year, and um, I I write it out during the beginning of the day, and I write five things I need to do. And I got this from Andy Frisella um, from the um, MF CEO podcast, I think a year ago, and it's really helped me, you know, transform my life. Um, in that there's five action items you need to do every day and as soon as you do those five things you can do whatever you want to do and so i urge you to do that right now write down the big goal and then write down the action items that you got to do um under that and then after that um it essentially is going to give you a road map on a day-to-day -day basis as to you know where you're going and um, how to how to build from there so if you haven't started up that that group yet go ahead and do that and I will talk to you in the next video peace